Yeah. Yeah, he's a real inspiration to me, you know. I'm trying to I'm trying to I see myself as trying to do what he did last year, you know. He started off as a three in the spring and then he just showed out. I seen him getting extra work day in, day out, getting his weight up, doing the small things to get himself right to have that big year which uh, to which he did have. And and like you said, he is an inspiration to me, you know, seeing another guy from Tulsa doing big things inspires me to just step up and, and, and put myself in and do the same thing. CK, I tore mine, I tore my ACL, and then CK, he tore his, I think, a week after. And then it was funny because we lived in the same apartment complex, the same building, but he was on the other side. And, you know, we just did everything together. We rehab and just we just do everything together. And it was just we were just able to lean on each other. You know, some days I'll have a bad day, he would have a bad day, but we were able to come together at the end of the day and say like, hey, we got to keep going. We got money to make out there and we can't give up now. We just keep pushing. I got back within six, seven months, but I didn't feel 100%. I still remember the day, it was Iowa State game last year. And I was like, hey, Chris, like I got this, I got this uh, knee brace on my knee and it's a game day, like, hey, can I take it off? He was like, yeah, just go ahead and take it off. And ever since then, like, I feel back to myself. I feel like I can move again. But what really helped me out was was Caleb Kelly, uh, Pat, and just um, and B. Mead, all the guys just making that process that much easier, keeping me motivated, and not letting me hang my head down, just keep pushing me to keep going and get back to where, get back to where I am now, healthy and, and just ready to go. Competition is uh, crazy. With the D line, it's just every, everybody's going. You know, we're we're so deep. Everybody's trying to fight for that top spot, and it's just making us fight and crawl and that much harder. And it's just making the D line as a whole that much better. And uh, and just us grinding in and out every day makes the O line better, makes the defense, and just makes the whole team better. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. You no, know, the biggest thing Coach Tibbs told me is. Uh, he was always harping on, don't be the slow guy in the group. And so what I did was I lost some weight while still getting stronger. Now now I'm running, I used to run a 5.040, now I'm running a 4.8740. Now I'm stronger stronger upside, now I'm playing faster. And now, now it's just like, it was always just about play speed. Now he's saying I'm playing faster, I'm doing the things I need to do. Now the plays are coming, and now it's, everything's just adding up. So you can feel that difference just in practice? Yes, sir. Uh, as far as the way you're moving around? Yes, sir. I feel I feel a lot faster, feel a lot lighter on my feet, able to get past people and change directions a lot faster. Speed D, you know. Things started to change up. Last year, um, like I said, last year was the, when I started getting on the field. I started to get those plays. And it was just like itching, crawling, trying to find any any way to get more reps on that field. And it's just... Like that's when the small things come into play. You got to get, you got to do all the small things right in order to get on the field, in order to make those big plays. And that's when I started seeing that. Do you, do you just, just keep doing what I'm doing. And uh, I've been in here, like today. I, I, I went to. Uh, I'm still in my practice pants because I went and got. I was about to go get an extra lift in, like I've been doing after every practice. But I had to meeting up here. So I had to go change and whatnot. But yeah, I've been getting extra work in with Wiley. After every practice, uh, been trying to eat right, just do all the little things right to make sure that my name stays stays in there and I can have that breakout year that I'm supposed to have this year. Like you said, it's just learning to be patient, you know, coming from being that guy in high school to, you know, being behind a guy like Nev and, and Q my first year and just being patient. And then, like you said, last year I had that injury, but I got got a little taste, and that taste, it fired me up to just keep working to get to where I am now and, and move even better than what I am now. And just, I don't know, like like you said, it just that little taste make, just makes me want to go that much harder just to uh, get back on the field as much as I can. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to be that person to say I'm back before even showing it, but I like to say I'm back, and, uh, and I'm just going to leave it at that and just prove it, prove it on the field. I like to speak. Speak. I don't like to speak with my words. I like to speak by action, you know. And I'll show. I'll show that off this year for sure. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.